Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to use HTTP requests to send an email to a user. In our previous employee onboarding video, when we created our PAR Automate, we use this send email action that you're looking at here. And what this does is obviously it sends an email to the user. And when the user gets an email, um, they're able to see what to do next. The problem with this action that I don't like and a lot of people don't like is that it sends an email. So in the from, in the from to field, it'll show the author of the, the workflow in the email. So for example, let me show you an example. Here's an example. So when you get the email, it, it has my name and you really don't want your name or the author of the of the workflow to be here. It's, it should say something like, you know, no reply or do not reply. So let me show you how to do that with um, using HTTP report. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on this button here, add an action, and we're gonna type in here HTTP request. So send HTTP request to SharePoint. And we're going to add in my site. So my site is right there. And then we're gonna say, we don't wanna do a get, we're gonna do a post because we're gonna be sending information. And then in our URI, we're gonna have this underscore API and we're gonna have fp.utilities. And then dot utility dot send email. So we got to make sure I get this right. API says utilities, utility, that's send email. Okay. And then for a header, we're going to have an accept, accept. And then we're going to have application forward slash JSON, O data. Equal to verbose, and don't worry. I'm not going to provide all this information. Will be provided, you know, um, at the bottom of this, in the description portion of this YouTube video. Then we're going to have content type. Oops, you got to make sure you get the spelling correctly. Type, and I'm just going to cop, come up here and copy, paste it in there. Okay, so now. So now what we want to do is we're going to go to our body and we're going to create our JSON. And this part is important. You can't mess up. So that's our opening and closing. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to say properties, properties. And if you remember JSON, the key, the key and the value are always surrounded with double quotes. So that's our key properties. And then here is our value. Let me just put my open and closing in there already. So now we're going to have two. Then we're going to come in here. We're going to say results, results. Then we're going to put that inside of some brackets. Quotes, quotes. Let me close the bracket then close braces okay so now within our double quotes here i am going to add from our dynamic content so i'm going to come down here and what i'm looking for is the work email work email so this is what i want don't choose work email claims but choose this if you choose claim it gives you it gives you a whole bunch of other stuff but this is what you need right here so let me make sure my cursor is in here Boom, okay, there you go. And then I'm gonna put my comma. And then I can say subject. And then I'm gonna just say, welcome to the firm. And then you can add in, um, let's say the user's name. So let's say employee, so first name, okay. And don't forget to close the quote. 
And now we're going to add the body. Body. Your. Let's just say uh, your onboarding information. And then you can close, as you can see, you can also put HTML in here as well. And I'm just going to do a bunch of breaks. Break. Okay. And then, of course, you want to make sure that they don't respond to this. So you, you see that in a lot of emails. Do not reply emails. So you're going to say, do not reply to the uh, to reply to this email. Do not reply to this email. This mail, oops. This mail box is not monitored. And you close quote. So you make sure. So you want to make sure everything is right. A lot of times. When you get an error, there's something wrong with your JSON format, so you have to make sure your double quotes are there, make sure your properties, make sure you have closing, open and closing braces. Um, so let me make sure this is right. So this looks right. And if not, we'll find out when we once we run it. So close and quote, close and quote. All right, so cool. So now let me let me delete this one. Okay, and let's see if this works. So I'm going to save, and instead of me going to go create a new record, I'm just going to come in here just to do this test. Just do a test. Test it out, and let's see what happens. Oh, found an error, and I bet you it's to see you're not well formatted. So let's see what's going on. Properties to, we have this to. Um, and I see what's wrong here. So let's come back in here. I have my quotes are in the wrong places here. So let's come back in here, go here, and yep, right here. So what I need to do is I need to have my quote in the inside, not on the outside. So there you go. So like I said, this usually is is where a lot of people make mistakes. Is you know just. They may miss, be missing a quote or have the quote in the wrong place or braces missing. So let's save and let's try this again. And let's just run that one again since it failed. And it, it ran. Okay, successful. Let's look at our email. It hasn't come in. I haven't heard it being yet, so it's not in yet. Um, but there's our email. Oh, there you go. So if I come here, there you have it. No reply, SharePoint line. Now, the reason you see it as Isaac Unique is because this is the name of my website, my SharePoint site, Isaac that uh, Unique. So if you had some other site like accountant or whatever, it'll say accountant, no reply. So I hope that video made sense. I hope that helps. Please like the video so it can get out to a lot of other people because a lot of people struggle with this. So please like the video. I will also provide the link to my GitHub that shows you these properties and also an image what you know what this looks like. It'll, it'll show you this image here. It'll basically show this image. So thanks. Bye.